Hello, hello. Hello. Teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hey, good night, guys. It is our Friday. It's Thursday, but it's our Friday. Porque mañana no tenemos clases. So it's our Friday, guys. And let's see. Y mañana pagan. So that's great. Um, let's see. What else? It is two minutes before 8 p.m. So we are just going to wait for a couple minutes so that the rest of the class can join. We are six people right now. We have Veronica, Rita, Milkar, Ceci, Mario, Ale, y Daniela. Very good. Thank you guys for being on time. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Ceci. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good evening. Good and you? Hi, good evening. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm good as well. I've had a kind of a tiring day. But we have all of the energy for this class. All right. Okay. We are starting section five today, guys. I've been told to let you know, guys, to please advance on the platform. Este es el recordatorio del día de por favor pongámonos al día con la plataforma. We are starting section five today, which means that by right now you should be at least Starting section four, deberíamos estar al menos comenzando con la section four, guys. So I trust you that, I trust that you can go ahead and do that. Para que ya la próxima semana que we finish the module, you guys can start on section five next week. All right. So I hope that you can work on section four ahora, mañana y el fin de semana. Que tengan tiempo para que podamos llegar al menos hasta a trabajar la section four so that you guys can work on section five next week para poder trabajar en la section five la otra semana. Teacher, ¿cuándo finalizamos este módulo? On Thursday, el otro jueves, just a week from now. Okay. El jueves estaríamos viendo el review del final test, which is this one. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, yeah, so which is this one. And while we wait for the others, because it already is 8 p.m., 8 o'clock, well, 8 with one minute, 8 con un minuto en mi reloj. So while we wait for the rest of the class, mientras esperamos for the rest of the class, we are going to review the contents for this um, section five. Vamos a ver cuáles son los contenidos para la section five. Qué es lo que vamos a ver. Um, as I said, as I told you yesterday, I hope that we can finish section five on Wednesday, el miércoles, so that on Thursday, el último día, we can focus on any questions that you may have. En cualquier pregunta que puede que ustedes tengan. Um, about section five, four, three, two, one, or whatever about the whole module. And we can review the final exam. All right, so I do would like that we finish section five on Wednesday so that we have Thursday available to do all of that. So we clear all questions. Y vayan super, super, super preparados para su final exam for, um, Beginners to principiantes dos. All right, so we are now 11 people. Por cierto, guys, I don't know if you noticed, no sé si ya vieron las noticias, si ya se dieron cuenta, pero es, uh, it is possible that no, uh, an another storm's coming next week. Dijeron que iba a entrar otra tormenta en 48 hours, en 48 horas, pero a Honduras. So most likely la otra semana here. 
so just to be aware about that, if you guys need to, um, I don't know, fix your roof or algo así, nosotros tuvimos que cambiar el techo, for example, um, and all of that. So just a reminder. All right, so we are 12 people right now. We have Amilcar, Alejandra Yala, Alejandra, Ceci, Cristian, Daniela, Mario, Nestor, Rita, Sergio, and Veronica. Excellent. And Karen just joined. Excellent, guys. All right. So today we are going to go ahead and begin with section five. The name of this section is I can't ice skate very well. And what you may notice here is that we have can't. We are going to be using sentences with can and can't so that you guys know how to say lo que ustedes pueden hacer y no pueden hacer. And then today, el día de hoy, vamos a estar viendo vocabulary about sports and seasons. Now, Aquí en nuestro país, well, we only have two seasons, right? Solo tenemos summer and winter. So tenemos invierno y verano. Uh, and in winter, we just have rain, right? En, en invierno solo tenemos lluvia. And then summer. But um, in many other countries in the world, they have four seasons, um, which is um, spring, que es la primavera, summer, que es el verano, Fall or autumn, which is otoño, otoño. and uh, winter, right, invierno. So we are going to be reviewing that vocabulary today. Allow me one moment. Let's see. All right. And before we begin talking about seasons, I do have this for you so that you can see it. Right here we have sports. And these are many different kinds of sports. Yo sé que quizás aquí no practiquemos la mayoría de estos sports. However, para darles también bastante vocabulario so that you know what it is. So, uh, what would you say, guys? De este vocabulario que vemos aquí, What words have you never heard of before? ¿Qué palabras nunca habían escuchado antes? Badminton. Badminton, okay. Clay shooting. Oh, clay shooting. Okay, clay shooting. Excellent. Cricket. Cricket. Yeah, we don't play cricket here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, cricket is the most que todo in Europa. Which one? Rafting. No sé cómo la pronuncian. Yeah, rafting. That's correct. Yeah, rafting. It's, it's a sport, um, a competitive sport, where they have competitions to row a boat, basically in a raft. Una raft es un tipo de canoa, sort of, um, or a type of boat en donde van ellos remando y es competitivo, right? And that's rafting. What else, guys? El que está arriba de fútbol, soccer, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Let me see, football, soccer, football, soccer, football, soccer. Where is it? Not a well, get a bit. No, in London. Downhill mountain biking. Ah, downhill mountain biking. Yeah, downhill mountain biking. That's correct. Okay. Uh, and that's biking, right? It's, it's in motocicletas and it is a competitive sport. Yes, an extreme sport, super extremo. Fencing, se pronuncia así. Fencing, that's correct. Fencing. Okay. 
be chess or cheese. I don't say chess. Where is C -H -E -S -S. it? C-H-E-S-S. Oh, chess. I okay. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Where is it? Not around, not around, not around. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> boxing. Or is ajedrez? Yeah, it's ajedrez, but I don't ah, see it. Where is it? I don't see it. I guess I have Okay, chess. Yes, chess. that's yes. And chess is classified as a sport, guys. Sí, por eso es un dato curioso. Si alguien no lo sabía, el ajedrez es considerado un deporte by like the mm -hmm. World Organization of Sports or whatever. Sure. Teacher, y a la par, perdón, de surfing, de que está ahí, sumo wrestling. Oh, sumo wrestling, yes. So sumo, um, it's a, uh, those are the Japanese and Chinese. It's a traditional Japanese or Chinese sport. It's, it's lucha, right? Lucha de sumos. Es, uh, las personas que practican eso se llaman sumo. And they are very heavyweight people. Son personas de peso super, super pesado, right? So, okay. What else, guys? So, do you play any sports? Do you guys play any sports? Teacher. Yeah. ¿Cuál es la diferencia ecuestre y horse racing? Oh, okay. So, equestrian. Uh, you actually do tricks with the horse. El caballo hace trucos y básicamente es enseñar al caballo, right? Es una ex exhibición del caballo y lo que puede hacer y que también entrenado está. En horse racing solo son caballos de carrera. So it's just a race. Thanks. Of course. Drug uh, by. Which one? Rugby. Oh, rugby. 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 All right. So rugby, it's uh, it's American football without any equipment. Es un fútbol americano como de peso liviano, y no ocupan equipo de protección ni nada. So it's um, es it, bien expuesto y es super pesado, pero es fútbol. Es lo mismo que el fútbol americano, but sí. sin equipo. Sí. A la buena de Dios. Polo is in the corner. Up. Uh, which one? Polo. Polo? Polo? Yes. Yeah, polo is a sport that they play mostly in England or in any other European countries. Uh, and it's basically, um, it's basically cricket on a horse. It's básicamente como cricket is irle pegando a una pelota con un como bastón with like sort of a cane a una pelota, pero sobre un caballo. It's overly yeah. complicated. Lo complicaron demasiado, but I mean, it's their sport. <laughs> Now we have the most common sports, right? We have swimming, swimming, nadar. We have soccer, football. We have American football, which is um, uh, football americano. We have diving. We have chess, baseball, basketball, athletics, uh, gymnastics. We also have jogging, trotar. We have golf. Uh, we have archery. Yeah. And Which one? Sumo rest, wrestling. Yeah, we have sumo wrestling. Que dijimos que era um, 
uh, the traditional Japanese and Chinese sport where they have very heavyweight people, or, well, heavyweight men, hombres de peso super alto, eh, fight against each other. Se pelean el uno con el otro. Okay. Y mientras más pesado sean, mejor. And then we also have karate. Es karate. Karate. Okay. We also have running, correr, oh. rugby. Yeah. ¿Cómo se menciona karate, teacher? Karate. 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 Yeah. Karate. Karate. Thanks. Of course. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, excuse me. Eh, el último que está a ah, la parte de voleibol. Yeah, weight. that's weight lifting. Weight lifting. Weight, weight lifting. That's correct. Y esas son las personas que levantan pesas eh, ya competitivamente, right? That's weightlifting. We have bowling, right? Going bowling, a los, um, al boliche. Uh, we have tennis, surfing. We have softball, which is sort of like baseball. And we have King. This word is pronounced king. No vayamos a decir skying. That's king. Teacher, ¿qué diferencia hay de cross country skiing a skiing? Where's, uh, where's cross country skiing? Oh, okay, so, okay, cross country skiing and skiing. Okay, so cross country, I'll show you. Les voy a mostrar lo que es cross, cross country. Es que sí, porque como está con la imagen, but let me show you. Ocho y cuarto. And this is King. All right. Let me show you. Here we go. Here it is. This is the difference, guys. You can see here, this is cross country skiing. You can see the pedals that they have. Pueden ver los pedal o los que tienen, lo que ocupan para moverse. And the canes that they have, los bastones que tienen. And then this is regular skiing. Si pueden ver the plates that they have. They have the skis. Y estos skis, ellos los ayudan a deslizarse, right? But in cross-country skiing, son bien delgaditos, which means que ellos van haciendo más fuerza. So it is, uh, esta es como la diferencia quizás entre trotar y correr. But when skiing, esto te permite ir súper rápido. And with cross-country, van como más como trotando, van más lento, porque ellos tienen que ir haciendo la fuerza porque los skis no los impulsan, sino que ellos se tienen que ir impulsando. Ok, thank you. Pues, o quizás también, ¿verdad? Ahí, eh, dependiendo del lugar, porque esos que van más rápido se ve como que están más nevando y el otro se ve más tranquilito, ¿verdad? Que no está mucho nevando, tal vez. En the same place siempre son en las montañas nevadas. Ah, ok. Any other uh, word that you don't know, guys, or any other sport? Tal vez algún deporte que esté aquí, que no esté aquí, I'm sorry, and that you may want to know. Atletismo, teacher. Atletism, athletics, here it is. Athletics or athletism. This one right here, one moment. This one or track. Uh, for example, 
aquí, como sabemos, en el INDES, right, uh, tenemos la Federación de Atletismo. So, um, digamos, fueran ustedes a Estados Unidos, you could say that that's the track organization. Le dicen, como nosotros conocemos atletismo, so, uh, oh, yeah, um, I practice track. Yo practico atletismo y track es como lo que ellos dicen porque track se llama donde ellos hacen de velocidad o de salto o whatever. Which one? Which one, Sissy? no lo veo, será que no All right. So, now cycling. Guys. Cycling? Yeah. Ciclismo. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, there are many ways that we are going to say that you play a sport or you do a sport oh, or you go to a sport. So, for example, we have sports that you play, such as football, netball, cricket, baseball, basketball. You play basketball. You play football, you play a netball, you play cricket. Estas es, um, son las definiciones de cada deporte, right? But you, you know what football means. So um, this is just in case someone doesn't know what baseball is. For example, it's played on a diamond with four bases. First, second, and les describe cuál es el deporte. But basically what I want you guys to see is that You play some sports, you do some sports, and you go to some sports. So you play football, you play volleyball, you play basketball. But now, with other sports, such as this one, you do gymnastics. You do martial arts, artes marciales. You do um, Taekwondo, you do Kung Fu, you do Tai Chi, Judo, etc. You do, um, let's see, you do athleticism. And then you go with other sports. For example, you go swimming because you have to go to the pool porque hay que ir a la piscina. You go swimming. You don't play swimming porque nadar no es un juego, right? So you don't play swimming, you go swimming. Ni do swimming porque I'm not doing swimming. Porque tendría que estar. O sea, estoy, es, si yo digo do swimming, es como si estoy haciendo la nadación, right? So that's not, so let's not say that. You go swimming. And then you go snowboarding. Uh, you go snow skiing. Casi siempre donde tengamos que ir a otro lugar, then that means that you have to go. You go swimming. You go snowboarding. Y once again, guys, estos sí son de memoria o de práctica. Más que todo de práctica, ustedes, como les digo, se van a equivocar y puede que lleguen a decir, oh, I play gymnastics. But you don't play gymnastics, right? You do gymnastics. Um, I play martial arts. Pero piénsenlo, incluso esto sí lo podemos ver en español, que viene siendo lo mismo. Ustedes no dicen voy a ir a jugar nadar, sino voy a ir a nadar. Uh, no dicen voy a jugar gimnasta o gimnasia, sino voy a, yo hago gimnasia o yo hago artes marciales. Pero el fútbol sí, yo juego fútbol, juego voleibol, juego badminton, juego tenis. I play tennis, I play fútbol. And then... Por eso les digo que es de memoria o de práctica porque no significa que solo porque you go swimming, todos los deportes acuáticos van a ser go. For example, el water polo, el polo acuático, then you play water polo porque es algo que se juega, right? Es un juego, es una competencia. Y, y así, guys. 
¿Hay alguna pregunta con cómo es, tenemos estas tres formas, guys, para hacer esto? You can play a sport. You can do a sport. Or you can go to a sport. Sports. So for example, colors, sports. You play football. Sports. You play volleyball. You do gymnastics. You do martial arts. And you go swimming. And you go skydiving, for example. Uy, I'm sorry. Yeah? Quisieran que les buscara una lista de con qué deportes ocupamos cada uno y se las mandara? Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. please. Please, right. please, teacher. I will then. Se las voy a buscar entonces y se las voy a mandar. Very well, guys. Also, I sent you guys yesterday a link to a podcast. Y los que lo puedan escuchar, do it. It's very interesting. It's a very easy English. Si, le, si me pueden entender a mí, le pueden entender a ella. Um, if you guys don't have Spotify, you can find it on YouTube as well. Creo que se llama igual el canal speak English and um, it's really good and it has some it's going to help you sobre todo para estar escuchando inglés para estar, tener algo que escuchar en inglés right now all right guys do you have any questions about this hasta donde vamos ahorita no yeah. no All right. Okay, so in that case, let's do a sentence. For example, I like to play football. I do martial arts. I go swimming on Tuesdays. So you see, siempre vamos a usar to play. Los que usamos play is I like to play football or I play football. Pero así, play football. I play football. I like to play football. I always play football, play. Para los que sean do, I do martial arts. Oh, I do gymnastics every day. I go swimming. I go swimming on Tuesdays. I, uh, I like to go um, skiing with my family, etc., etc. All right. Alguna pregunta about that? All good. All right. So in that case, we are going to go ahead and read this right here. Déjenme ponerles este material. And we are going to see WH questions, guys. What are the WH questions? Can WH questions can I sing? Where, who, mm -hmm. why, when, mm -hmm. what? Excellent. How? How? Perfect. What kind of story you like, Joy? Excellent, guys. All right, so let me go ahead and share this with you. Here, 
we have simple present WH questions. Simple present porque recuerden que seguimos hablando en el presente normal. So, can I please have Mario read the first sentence? Y vamos a leer toda la, todo, la pregunta y la respuesta, please. Okay, teacher. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Excellent. Thank you, Mario. Now, can I have Alejandra Ayala read the next one? Okay. Um, la, um, la segunda, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. How do you play baseball? Baseball, así? Baseball, yes. Uh, baseball with I played with some friends from work we have a team excellent Alejandra perfect thank you very much now can I please have Sergio read the next one okay there I go where do you play we play at Hunter Park Perfect, Sergio. Thank you very much. Now, can I have Briselda read the next one? Perdón, es que estoy del teléfono, casi no veo. ¿En cuál voy? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, this one. Okay, how often do you practice? We practice one or twice a week. Excellent. Thank you very much, Priscilla. Now, can I please have William read the next one? Okay. Um, when do you practice? We practice on Sundays. Excellent, William. Thank you very much. And finally, can I have Abner read the last one? Okay, what time what time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you very much, Abner. Thank you very much, guys, for reading these sentences. And we are going to review them right now. ¿Hay alguna palabra que vean aquí que no conozcan? Teacher. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Which one? Twice. Twice. Yes. ¿Cuál es la traducción de twice? All right. So, um, visto, um, uh, okay. Let's do a review about that. Okay. Allow me one moment to do a review about that. Have you guys reviewed? Um, no necesariamente dos veces a la semana, pero sí dos veces. Okay. Han visto las cosas en, en secuencias que sigue después de twice. Three times. Entonces, Four times. No. No. Why? Okay, so let's review this. Lo que pasa es que si vamos a hablar de sequence, sí podemos decir three times, pero entonces vamos a decir two times. ¿Por qué vamos a decir twice? Si podemos decir two times. I think I, I have a read about it. Yeah, so you can say that. Pero entonces si yo puedo decir three times, ¿para qué voy a decir once? Si ¿Sí puedo decir one time. So those are called sequences, guys. And sequence numbers, we have once, twice, and we have thrice. That goes afterwards. And afterwards, y después, those are the main ones que you use. Ya después del cuarto para allá, realmente, you are, you are not really going to be heard of it. Uh, you're, not gonna, you're not really going to be hearing about it. Y ahí sí ya vamos a comenzar a hacer four times, five times, 
I'm sorry, where is the... ¿Dónde está la...? Aquí está. Después de esto, ahí sí hay un gap y ya sí vamos a hacer four times, five times. Pero para once, twice y tenemos thrice. Y para estos también tenemos, right? Tenemos one time, two times. Y esto es three times. No necesariamente solo para la semana, right? No necesariamente dos veces a la semana, sino dos veces. Uh, puede ser twice a day, dos veces al día. Twice a month, dos veces al mes. Twice a year, dos veces al año. Twice every six hours, dos veces cada seis horas. Pero eso significa dos veces, twice. Is that clear? The sentence says a week, it's a week. Sí, o sea, sí, en la, si, en la, si en la oración dice a week, es a la semana, pero solo twice no significa que sea a la semana. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, but did you understand what twice was? La persona que me preguntó. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Oh, so awesome. ¿Alguna otra palabra? ¿O conocemos el vocabulario? ¿Ya? 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 para ver el cuadro para ver oh. there we go just one moment there you go thank you all right so let's review these sentences guys these questions and their answers las preguntas y sus respuestas so what sports do you play I play hockey. Teacher. And, yeah. Teacher, uh, ¿qué es how, how often? How often? All right. So, how often? ¿Qué tan seguido? Gracias. Of course. So, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who? Do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. And what time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So you guys can notice, for what, sabemos que es que, right? So what sports, nos están preguntando que deportes, what sports do you play? Le respondemos con los, con los deportes. I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play X deporte with? Who do you play with? Con quien juegas? Con quien juegas? Who do you play with? Esta Pregunta siempre se va a ordenar así. Who do you play with? Con el with al final. No vayamos a confundirnos. No vayamos a decir who with do you play. All right. Siempre el with al final. And where do you play? ¿A dónde? Right. At Hunter Park. ¿Por qué at? Porque es un lugar. At. Si hubieran... Eh, jugado en una cancha, then we play at the field. And how often? ¿Qué tan seguido practica? We practice once or twice a week. Una o dos veces a la semana. And when do you practice? We practice on Sundays. Remember que los días de la semana on y los meses in. Eh, ¿Sabían cómo usar eso, guys? No. All right. So in that case, solo vamos a hacer una anotación sobre eso. 
for months, we use N. And for uh, days of the week, we use on. So for example, on February, on August, on July. Y para days of the week, I, I'm sorry, lo puse al revés. In February, in August, in July, and on Monday, on Friday. Y para los años, in. In 2002, in 2020. Okay. Ah, y este es otro tip. Cuando tengan un año, for example, así, or let's say 1975, no se vayan a complicar y no vayan a decir 1975 porque nadie realmente los dice así, sino que siempre los, como que los separan en dos y dicen 1975. So that's in 1975, tal cosa. Oh, I was born in 1990, for example. And so, para que no se compliquen diciendo, I was born in 2002. I was born in, si tienen un bebé este año, digamos, my baby was born in 2020. Para que no se compliquen diciendo, in 2020. And my baby was born in 2020. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, guys. So months in and days on, years in as well. Excellent. So now let's review some questions. For example, let's see. Um, let's see. Ali. Si yo quiero preguntar, ¿qué tan seguido vas a nadar? How would you say that? What? Eh, uy, tan seguido, no sé. <laughs> Como dijimos que se decía tan seguido, guys, I just said it. Lo acabo de decir. Often. Often. Oh, That's okay. correct. So that would be how often. ¿Cómo seguiría la oración, Al? How often? ¿Qué tan seguido era? Eh, how often? Ajá, pero la pregunta. ¿Qué tan seguido vas a nadar? Eh, do you swim? ¿Y cómo dijimos que se, ocup que se ocupaba para swim? Go, play, or do? Go. Okay, so como se diga? Uh, do you go swimming? That's correct. How often do you go swimming? Excellent. Now, next one. Thank you, Ale. Okay. So, Karen, let's see, Karen. Si yo quisiera decir... ¿A qué hora juegas fútbol? Ok. What time do you play soccer? What time do you play soccer? Y aquí, guys. Thank you very much, Karen. That's correct. Aquí es algo que no les había dicho, por eso that's correct. So, si vamos a hacer una pregunta, una WH question, así, y estamos preguntando por una hora. Por ejemplo, aquí la pregunta, what time do you start? Y me van a decir, we start at that, that, that. Pero como yo le estoy diciendo específicamente, um, do you play care? I'm so sorry, do you play soccer? At what time? 
difference happen? Porque nos van a decir at nine o'clock. At tal cosa. At porque le estoy preguntando una, la hora de un sol. Aquí porque le dice at what time do you start? Le está preguntando a qué hora se empieza. Pero nosotros le estamos pidiendo una hora en específico. Si le comenzáramos a decir, le, le quisiéramos decir que a qué horas termina, por, ej, por ejemplo, el partido, uh, podemos decir igual, at what time o solo what time? What time does it end? O at what time does it end? También podría ser. No está de más. Now, si yo quisiera preguntarle si Cristian, Yes. ¿A dónde? Let's see. ¿A dónde? ¿Comiste, Va, hijo? ¿A dónde vas a gimnasia? Um, where, where do you go to gimnasio? Gimnasio, perdón. ¿Qué nos faltaría ahí, guys? Do you do gymnastics? Do you just go to gymnastics? Or do you play gymnastics? Do you go... No. Oh. Repeat. What do you do? To play, what do you do to play? Where do you go to play gym, gymnastics? Yeah, como do you era. play gymnastics or do you no. do gymnastics? Where do you do gymnastics? Pero le estoy preguntando que a dónde va, no que a dónde uh -huh. las hace. Going? No. <laughs> Where do you go to do gymnastics? Where do you go to do gymnastics? ¿A dónde vas a hacer gimnasia? ¿A dónde vas a gimnasia? ¿Por qué? Aunque yo diga, ¿a dónde vas a gimnasia? Pero en inglés, you do gymnastics. So where do you go to do gymnastics? All right. Por eso es importante que no traduzcamos. Por si traducimos, sí. Where do you go gymnastics, right? ¿A dónde vas a gimnasia? Where do you go to do? El do es importante porque en English we do gymnastics. ¿Ya? Yeah? Por eso okay. no solo traduzcan. Okay. Excellent. Now let's see. Veamos. One more example. Marlene. Now Marlene. Mm -hmm. Y yo quisiera preguntar. ¿Con quién juegas voleibol? Um, who did you play volleyball with? That's correct. Who do you play volleyball with? Muy importante el with al final. Thank you very much, Marilyn. That's correct. Who do you play volleyball with? Jamás, jamás, jamás vayamos a decir who with do you play? Nunca. El with siempre al final. Aunque no digamos qué jugamos, who do you play with? Y hasta ahí está bien, pero with al final, ¿ok? Y no solo para deportes. Who do you um, like to hang out with? ¿Con quién te gusta salir o con quién te gusta pasar el tiempo? Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajas? Who do you work with? Who do you live with? ¿Con quién vives? ¿Ya? Yeah, el with al final. Cuando vamos a preguntar con quién. Is that clear, guys? ¿Comprendemos esto? Yes, teacher. Do we have any yes. questions? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta sobre esto? Teacher, en estas oraciones que se ocupa el wish al final, eh, si no lo ponemos, está mal, ¿verdad? Sí, porque with es con okay, quién, con right? Quién. Eso es lo que nos pregunta. Ah, uh -huh. uh, ok. Thank you. Ok, 
¿Qué más, guys? Do we have any other questions? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? Teacher. Yeah. At time does it end? What time does it end? Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia o qué será? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de usarlo o no usar at? At o what? No, 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 no. Aquí, por ejemplo, no, yo lo que estoy diciendo es que se puede decir at what time does it end o solo what time does it end. No, no afecta eh, la traducción. No, no traduzcamos. No, no, eh, digamos, eh, no traduciéndolo, sino que al, al entenderlo. No, está correcto de ambas maneras. At what time does it end? Y what time does it end? Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. Of course. ¿Tenemos alguna otra pregunta, guys? Or not? No. No, teacher. All right, all right, guys. So in that case, si les quiero preguntar, guys, ¿cómo van en la platform? How are you doing with the platform, guys? I finish um, number section three. Excellent. I'm so glad to hear about that. Qué bueno, sí, guys, ahorita ya tendríamos que haber terminado section 3 o como mínimo estarla terminando, right? So let's review this right here really quickly. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda sobre cómo realizar algo de, la, de alguna section en algo que no pueda avanzar ahorita en estos últimos uh, last 10 minutes que tenemos? Or is there something that you would like to review? The any other section? Mm. ¿Y van los How is everyone else doing? I'm working uh, lesson four. Great, excellent. Mm -hmm. Ahorita que ya estamos 18, I do want to tell you guys, ahorita ya tendríamos que ir en section 4, working on section 4 esta semana, ya para la próxima semana comenzar section 5. Y ya el jueves, next Thursday, we finish the module. Y ahí se acaba el módulo. And you guys will be doing your, um, your final exam, which is this one. This one, which we will review. Yeah. ¿Cómo se dice terminé o finalicé? I finished. Finally, ¿qué es? Finalmente. Ah, ok. <ríe> Gracias. Puedo decir, I finally finished. Finalmente terminé. <ríe> Al fin terminé. <ríe> Ajá, ok. Sí, terminé. Yeah. <ríe> ok. I finished the section 4. Excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. That's really good. Así vamos al día and that's easier. So in case you have any questions, así vamos un poquito más al día. So guys, ¿hay alguien que no haya o que esté in the middle of section three todavía? I understand. I understand, guys. ¿Y tenemos alguna duda por algo que no podamos avanzar? Por el momento, I, no. I understand. Okay, guys. In that case, uh, los motiva muchísimo a que avancemos un poquito, al menos hasta la section four, porque hoy sí, ya esta, esta semana, bueno, oh, we have started section five. And I hope that we can finish section five el miércoles para el jueves quedarnos solo con puras, puras, puras um, dudas that you may have. 
um, around any topic from any section, desde la section one hasta la section five, llegamos al review of final exam. So that's why I was asking if anyone had any questions. Ahorita es el momento. Or is everything clear? All right, guys. So if no one else has any other questions, then allow me to just present section five to you. Today, we reviewed vocabulary about sports and seasons. We reviewed that we saw that we had um, autumn. Oh, this is, you may hear fall. Se le dice, sobre todo en Norteamérica, fall, al otoño, y en Europa se le dice autumn. Pero ambos son otoño. Right? And then we also have spring. ¿Qué es a spring, guys? Primavera. 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 That's correct. We have winter. Invierno. That's correct. Invierno. And we have summer. Verano. Right? So in the United States, mostly, ahorita, quiero ver, estamos noviembre. Ahorita, finales de noviembre, va a comenzar el winter. Va a comenzar el invierno. And winter lasts up until January, alrededor de enero, finales de enero, y después empieza spring. And then spring lasts, bueno, depende, en algunos lugares llega el invierno hasta febrero, bien metido febrero. And then, teacher. Yeah? Pregunta, eh, y aunque sea invierno, aunque sea lluvia, o aunque sea nieve, eso no tiene nada que ver. Ya, yeah, porque en cada lugar, por ejemplo, eso decíamos, aquí solo tenemos summer and winter, right? And for us, para nosotros el invierno es la, es la lluvia. And then winter, para alguien de Estados Unidos, es nevar, right? Ya, yeah, y siempre sigue siendo, um, siempre sigue siendo winter, porque es la temporada, right? If, even if it's rain or snow. Ok. Yeah. Now, for example, en el invierno hay otros inviernos más extremos. For example, en Rusia los inviernos significan oscuridad completa en algunas zonas porque no sale el sol. Días enteros no sale el sol. So, it, it, not only is it cold porque hay nieve todo el año, todo el año hay nieve, nunca hay momento que no haya nieve. But it means complete darkness, o sea, grados bajo cero. And igual en la Antártica y en la Antártida, right? It, los dos polos. Um, so yeah, and then at the end of February, you get spring. And then spring lasts up until... So, abril, mayo, it's very long. around something around May, alrededor de Mayo, and then summer starts, comienza en Mayo, alrededor de Mayo, ellos salen de vacaciones en Junio, Julio, se van a summer break, um, and then they go back to classes in September, en septiembre comienza el año escolar, and then around September, October, comienza fall, comienza el otoño, y luego vol vuelve a comenzar el ciclo. Oh, and in winter, in the United States, in winter, you get the flu shot, que es la vacuna de la gripe, la vacuna de la influenza, right? So every time there's um, season change, changes, you get the flu shot. 
teacher aquí a, 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 para hacer una oración aplica el in o el on para decir mm, esto. Very good. Excellent. I went, uh, I, we went out on vacation during the summer. Esto sería during. Durante el verano. Durante el invierno. Durante el... Durante la primavera. During summer. I went to the beach during summer. I stayed in my house during the winter. Or during winter. Yeah? Thank you. Of course. Very good question. That was a very, very good question. So you can also make this sentence my favorite season is and you can tell people what's your favorite season right my favorite season is um winter for example summer, summer again this year summer favorite winter season no. summer because tal cosa, tal cosa, tal cosa. my favorite season summer because i go to the beach and i hang out with my friends etc etc Okay. Excellent, guys. All right. So we are done for today. That would be all that I have for, uh, for you today. And we are going to continue tomorrow um, reviewing some more conversations. And we are going to learn how to say activities that you can and can't do. Vamos a aprender a decir Cómo decir las cosas que ustedes pueden y no pueden hacer. All right, guys. So, but that will be, ay, no, mañana no. On Monday, I'm sorry. On Monday, we will see that. Eh, right, so. Ale, uh -huh. y si yo quiero decir nos vemos el lunes, tendría que decir see you on Monday. That's correct. On. On y Monday. no podría decir see you on Monday. O siempre tiene que ir el long. See you, ah, solo see you Monday. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. It's not correct, pero sí se dice, o sea, ah. es como lo que les decía, en español igual no, no usamos todas las reglas correctas, right? Sí se, sí se escucha, hay cosas que no son correctas y que no se escuchan, que no les van a entender, pero hay cosas que sí, ellos dicen y son slang. Ok. Yeah. So enjoy your weekend, guys, and see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.